Hey y'all, happy Halloween to you. Me and Justin decided to take an evening walk since we're not going trick-or-treating with our nieces this year. And we decided to come to the cemetery at the end of our road. And that's my cousins. That does look like it's recently been done. It was recently done. Huh. Look, you can see where it was in, what was broke through. That's sad. We're going to walk around and look at all the graves. We've lived here for almost six years and I've never walked this far into the graveyard. Our niece is obsessed with this graveyard, so I've had a walk in here. That one's broke too. Uh, that one's been broke though. See, it's laying on the back right there. <laughs> There's a lot of old ones. You can see this newer ones there. There's a um above ground one. Right there. I've wondered if that might have been a tombstone at one time. It does. It looks like it don't. Because it is an old graveyard. Look, kinda looks petrified. It's got moss growing on it. Yeah. Let's check these old ones out right here. There's a civil war one back there. Leaves scare me. That's pretty neat there. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Looks like a log. I didn't notice they had the rings in the field. Didn't? That's cool. I'm gonna look at this one here too. This person was born in night or in eighteen eighty and died in nineteen eleven. This old one here. Women of the World Memorial. It's got a dollar sign at the top of it. <laughs> I love money. Here's one. I was showing Cat how the uh, how they um, would do husband and wife cemetery plots, mm -hmm. and she was asking. Her, when were they born? I told him when did they die. I told him, you know, they said, well, when was this one born and when did they die? So it, he was born, but he hasn't died yet. She was, well, why did they bury him? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't understand. It's like they're not, they're not buried yet. He's not buried yet. <laughs> this is the back side, or I guess front side of that log I just showed you, and it's also Women of the World Memorial. That's pretty neat. Weep dot. Weep not, wine and children for me, for I am waiting in glory for thee. Huh. It's pretty neat. Just figured we'd take you out on a little tour of the graveyard. It'd be a first for the both of us, for my viewers and for me. Justin and Kat has walked through here tons of times. And it's very pretty. It's got a scenery on it. Mather Matherly? Never heard of that last name before. A Civil War soldier? Yeah, Civil War. He was a private. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's pretty neat. Company G. 1832 to 1922. Confederate States of America. Hmm. Hmm. That's neat. And there's a big old drop off back here. It must be where that stream that Elvis Th is thick probably wooded area. Goes to. This right here is why we don't flood. <laughs> yeah, and it's really thick through there. And this is at the back of the cemetery. And there's like a big pond right here. I've never seen this before, ever. Huh, that's pretty neat. 
I don't know who it would belong to, though. Well, you can tell back in the day when people wanted to go down to the pond, they went down that way and went through the woods to get to the pond. Really steep. Steeper than what it looks like on the phone. This is crazy. I've never been through here before. It's pretty neat. Yeah, they pushed up all the dirt and stuff against the fence. They shouldn't have done that. It's making the fence fall down. Solomon Brownie Krill. Well, like Solomon might have been a family name because I see another Solomon Krill right mm -hmm. over there. There's Krill. All oh, this right here is Krill. Mm -hmm. Footstones. There's a Krill. That's a pretty tombstone. A bunch of Krills. <laughs> and Baxley's. Let's see who the Marlowe is over here. I think there's a couple Marlowe's in here. That's a recent grave. Let's see. Baby Marlowe. Luth Luther, Freddie, Wesley, and Elizabeth Rosa. It's, it says Baby Marlowe? I wonder mm -hmm. if oh, it, it really was a baby. Yeah, it passed away. Yeah. That's sad. That's sad. I don't think these are the ones that's kin to me, though. I think I'm kin to the There's one only with the E. Family, yeah, my grandfather's name was Luther, but this is not oh, his yeah, grave. It doesn't have a D on mm -mm. It's a different set of Marlowe's there, I believe. I think there's some more Marlowe's. There's another there. grave that was just done not too long ago. Oh, that's Stephanie's grave. Stephanie Venner's. What? Oh, bless I her heart. I forgot about that. And there's another Marlowe. This one might be kin to me because it's got an E on the end. 1958 to 2021. Carolina Funeral Home. Here's a Marlowe. Here's a Marlowe. There's a Marlowe. Apparently there's, uh, there's some... some of them spelling it with a, with just a W and there's some of them spelling it with just a uh, W and an E. William Marlowe. And Lois Baxley Marlowe. Nineteen ninety-five. Huh. Cat just could not Look get how over. pretty this grave is. And it's even got a a bench for the family to sit down on to visit with the graves. There's a nettles back there. There's a couple of nettles right through here. Powell, Altman, Cox, Tedder. This is neat. Hmm. Donald Baxley. He's got a little truck on his grave. They go way on back in there next to the trailer park over here. Lindy O'Neill Collins. Tootie. <laughs> That's cool. That's how people want to be remembered by their nicknames. Gaskins. They were musician, musicians. <laughs> There's several little ones that don't have tombstones back there at the back. There's a lot of graves in here that don't have tombstones. Like, they just keep going. They're everywhere. Hey, Look how far we are. Hmm. Hey, it's been that long. Is there a trash can out here? Maybe they just put that up. There's a lot of old ones. This person here's nickname is Slickhead. <laughs> and there's an old house right here. Everything's grown up in it. It's got a little ramp and everything here. So somebody must have been handicapped to live in that old house. Huh. It's amazing to me because I hadn't ever been back here. 
the, I think it's that other trailer park right here. The back end of it anyway. I think it might also be owned by the place. We've got current trailers here that people live in. Try not to video them as much. Here's some older ones too, 1954. 1950, but you can't hardly see. Like 2014 and 2010. Oh, okay. There's the house again. Huh. This is pretty neat. Yeah, there used to be a new there. Look. That's a. I don't know if that's fairly new or not. They just don't have a tombstone on it. They died in 2014. Mm -hmm. Last name Ray on this one. I tell you one thing, this graveyard needs a lot of cleanup. I know they cut the grass and weed eat, but it scared me. It's okay, baby. He's just doing his job. Robert Lee Joy, 2017. I wonder what the, it says building, I guess it means building E. I wonder what those mean. I think it's probably just the lanes. Oh. Because it's all the way down the fence. I think it's the lanes as well. Oh, okay. Great. I guess that, that would make sense. And the 36 and the 70 is probably two lanes that it's marking. That's what it is. And these are webs. Peggy Port and William Leo. The both last names were Rabin. Huh. It's pretty neat. And this one right here is very, yeah, I like it too. very neat looking. It kind of looks like they had a broken piece. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. And that's the front side of it. Oh, his nickname was Frog. Oh, bless his heart. This place just keeps going and going and going. Oh, that's her. Fuck me, that is a big dog. <laughs> 